At 20 weeks, we found out we were going to have a baby with a cleft lip and palate, and we were looking for a doctor, that craniofacial surgeon, and we found one of the best. And we feel very lucky that we have found Dr. Jenikov. We could see something, but we didn't ever put two and two together. We had no idea. We went to some other doctors that kind of put some things in our heads that I didn't really appreciate at the time. But when we got down here and saw Dr. Jenikov, he put us at ease a whole lot. Fortunately for us today, 80% of the patients we see with a cleft lip and pallor are diagnosed on ultrasound around 20 weeks. So we get to see the patients before they're really patients. We get to talk to the mom and the dad and really begin the education process at 20 weeks gestation as opposed to two weeks after the baby's born. He guided us through the whole thing and treated us along with Tate. You know, he kept us where we needed to be. That first surgery was pretty sweet when Dr. Jenikov, you know, here we had to hand off our child that we'd fallen in love with the face that we got when he was born. And after that first surgery, when we were in the waiting room waiting and we knew he was in recovery and Dr. Jenikov actually came and got us. And he wanted to see the reaction on our face to see his little face for the first time. And, and that was sweet, and just knowing that he, it was his reward. Tate's a normal kid. He's got a big brother that he fights with all the time. He goes to school, he runs around, he chases everything else he can chase, and he's a wonderful, sweet kid. We've just been real careful and made sure that this is not who Tate is. This is part of our journey. This doesn't define us of, of who he is. We're not gonna use this as a crutch in our lives. We are using it as an experience to make us a better family and a closer family. And Dr. Jenikov and his office have uh, made this, for a rotten situation, the best experience I think we possibly could have had.